Hey, the early church is, is super busy. They're bringing in a ton of people. New people are coming in every day in Acts chapter 6. But, but the problem is the people are hungry, and they're looking to the church for food, and they're wanting the church to, to take care of them. They're all taking care of each other, and they're all kind of bringing their goods in, and, and they all share everything. But, but it's become a problem for the 12 disciples, for the 12 apostles, and, and they're a little just, just frazzled. They're stressed out a little bit, and they're like, hey, we can't keep doing this because we really just need to preach. We really just need to teach people about God. But but all of a sudden, we're all just totally concerned with food distribution. So they, they prayed and they thought about it and they picked some guys who were full of the Holy Spirit and full of wisdom and they picked seven guys who were kind of in charge of this, the distribution. They were the seven-man task force and they were all in charge of the distribution of food. So they were kind of God's grocery store. And one of them was this young cat named Stephen. Now Stephen was awesome. Stephen was full of, of the Holy Spirit. He was full of wisdom. He, he was just full of faith and just amazing dude. And he could also, check this out, glow in the dark. Yes, it's true. Check this out. In verse, we're going to start verse 7. And it says this, the message of God continued to spread and the number of disciples continued to increase significantly there in Jerusalem. Even priests in large numbers became obedient to the faith. You know something's going on when religious people start coming to God. That's an extremely big deal. Stephen continually overflowed with extraordinary grace and power and he was able to perform a number of, of miraculous signs and wonders in public view. The Holy Spirit, this is verse 10, gave Stephen such wisdom. And then flip the page, and it says in verse 15, because it, the, the people are getting upset, religious leaders are getting really upset, they bring Stephen out, and they're, they're questioning him, and they're giving him a hard time, and they start lying about him, and they start accusing him of things that he hasn't done, and they bring these false witnesses in, and, and, and they're just kind of testing him, and this is how Stephen reacts. The entire council turned its gaze on Stephen to see how he would respond to their accusations, to their lies, to their scam. And they were shocked to see his face radiant with peace as if he were a heavenly messenger. He was glowing in the dark, all right? And, and, and here he is, and here's what I think set Stephen up to glow. What set him up to glow in the dark was first thing is, is he was willing to serve. He was willing to do whatever it takes. Wasn't a real glamorous thing to be in charge of food distribution, okay? It wasn't a forefront thing. It wasn't a platform thing. It was just kind of a humble job. He was willing to do it because he was willing to do whatever it takes for Jesus. He was completely sold out, okay? And, and, and he was broken. And, and there, there's a humbleness that comes with just being broken. And when we're broken, we realize, man, I, I must decrease Jesus must increase. And when we come to that point, the things that break God's heart start breaking our heart. So when we see hungry people, it hurts us. When we see hurting people, it hurts us. That's where Stephen was. That's one of the things that set him up to, to glow is he was broken. Second thing, he was completely sold out. His life had been changed by Jesus. And he had fallen in love with Jesus. And he had given his life. He had given his heart. He had given everything over to God. God. He was willing to live for God. He's also willing to die for God, as we're about to find out. And so he had been shaken up. Everything in his life had been shaken to the core. He was full of faith. He was full of the Holy Spirit. He was full of wisdom. God's favor and God's flavor were on him. So he glowed, kind of like a human glow stick. He had been been broken. He had been shaken, and so he glowed. It's like a glow stick. When you get a glow stick, you take it out of the package, and you, you then you break it, okay? You have to break it in order to activate it, and then you kind of shake it up to keep it glowing, to keep it bright. Same with Stephen. He had been broken. He had been shaken, and because of that, he glowed, all right? Allow God to, to break you. Allow him to, to, to come and, and give you his heart, and the things that break his heart, let them break your heart. Allow him to shake you up, and, and, and surrender to the shake. Give him everything you are. Give him everything you have, and glow in the dark. Glow, little glow worm. Glimmer, glimmer. God bless you. Giddy up.